We want to go out live to reporter Whitney Miller. She is in Lo Loveland right now. Whitney, uh, obviously this storm has impacted a number of communities. What are you seeing there in Loveland? Hey, I'm in Loveland. It's Loveland in the edge of Goshen. Uh, some of the locals tell me in Woodville Gardens. And I just want to show you this tree. It has fallen into this home here. People were inside when this tree fell. I'm here with Ethan and Destiny who were inside. Well, Destiny, I think you were inside at the time. Tell me what you heard, what you saw. Um, I was just sitting there on the phone and then the sirens went off. I end up getting off the phone and I end up hearing like a little crackling. I didn't see anything or felt the full tree come through, but on the other side of the home, a tree fell. So I called him, I said, you need to come home. I heard something. Um, as soon as he ended up coming home, he said, I didn't see anything laying on the back of the house. Mm -hmm. So he went to go open the back door. And as soon as he opened the back door, that's when the whole tree completely fell in. He was standing Under. full height. And then all of a sudden he was down through the whole I was getting floorboard. flashlights. And, yes, and Ethan, you, your, your head is still bleeding. You decided not to get, you feel fine. You're yeah, okay. I'm fine. So yes. tell me what you saw, what you heard. Uh, the only thing, I really didn't see anything. I was just back there getting our flashlights and stuff, getting prepared for the storm because I figured we was going to lose power. So I was just back there getting flashlights and stuff like that and uh, medical supplies. And then next thing you know, it just, it fell right through the back door. And next thing you know, I'm on the ground. And I just, first thing I was worried about was her. And that's... That's really that's really all I remember. He was laying back there for three minutes, like just laying back there. And me being in the situation that I in, I wasn't able to kind of get back there and help him. I just kept calling his name, calling his name, and then I started calling ambulance.